Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we demonstrated how to write a RabbitMQ application in C++ Programming and how the direct exchange works in RabbitMQ. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to write a RabbitMQ application in C++ and using fun out exchange to publish and consuming messages. RabbitMQ uses exchange and Q to publish and consuming the message. The producer publish the message to the exchange and the exchange responsible for routing the message to corresponding the queues and the consumer pick up the message from queues. In RabbitMQ, the exchange has type, direct exchange type, fan out exchange type, topic exchange type, and the headers exchange type. In previous video, we discussed direct exchange in this short video, we are going to demonstrate how it works for the fun out exchange. Here on my Linux, I have installed RabbitMQ message broker, and we have created a virtual host called my vhost. We have created a user called test, password is test, and the permission of user test is to access my vhost for any type of message write anything and read anything. Currently, there's no queue set up for our RabbitMQ message block. Here, I go to another terminal. We create a program called funoutpublish.cpp, which using the funout exchange to publish the messages. Fun out exchange routers message to all the queues that are bounding to this exchange and the routing key is ignored. If any queues are bound to the fun out exchange, when a new message is published to that exchange, a copy of a message is delivered to all the queues. Here is the usage of our program. It's fun out publish. And the first argument is the house and the part number. Second is exchange name. Third one is the queue name. Queue name is optional. If queue name provided, there will be binding this queue with this exchange. If queue name not provided, we will just publish the message to this exchange. So first, we have to build a connection string. Our connection string pattern is the username password, host, and the part number, and the forward slash virtual host name. So we have set up our RabbitMQ with user is test, password is test, host and the part number from command line, and the forward slash my underscore v host. And the argument two will be exchange name. So first, we're going to instantialize a RabbitMQ object using our connection string, connect to our RabbitMQ, we name it AMQP. And after we instantialize our AMQP object, we use AMQP create exchange method to create exchange with exchange name from command line. We instantial our object and we name it EX. After instantialize this EX object, we use a declare method to declare our exchange. And the second parameter will be type, and type is the fun out. Third parameter will be the parameter defined in the header class. It can be auto delete, durable, passive, mandatory, immediate, if unused, exclusive, no weight, no acknowledge, no local, and multiple. We are not going to deep discuss how these parameters work. In this demo, we just pick up two, and auto delete, and durable. After we declared our exchange, we have to set up a delivery model. The delivery model has two options. It could be no persistence and persistent. In our demo, we just hard coding, pick up a persistent message, and also, we can set up the attribute of a message. In general, 
the attribute of a message could be content type, content encoding, routine key, delivery model, message priority, message publish timestamp, expiration period, publish application ID. In our demo, we just uh, hard coding, created a content type and the content encoding. And just for demo, we can set up attribute of our message. If the argument count equal four, it means we provide a queue name. So we could assign this queue name and we use the create queue method to instantialize our queue object. We name name Q2. After instantialize the Q2 object, we use the Q2 declare method to declare our queue and we binding our queue with exchange name. So as for the rapid MQ message flow, the binding must be set up between the queue and the exchange. Here we just set up binding our exchange with our queue. After that, we just make a simple loop. We get the message body from the console using std get line function to get from std cin into this message body stream. If message body equal end, then we break the loop. We end our program. If not equal to end, we just use exchange publish our message body key where we empty, then we clear the message body string, we go back and ready for get another message from the console. Now we save our program. We compiling our program, find out publish, and another is a read queue, which is a we have demonstrated in previous video. Now programmer get compiled. Here is our executable, read queue, fun out publish. So our for programmer usage is fun out publish. And the first is the host and the part number. The host is 192.168.0.107 and the, the part number is 5672. And our exchange name, we just name file exchange. And the queue name, we just, so it's a usage where we find out publish the host and the part number Exchange name with fun exchange and the queue called fun one queue. So it's the first queue of the fun out. And we create another queue called fun two queue. So now we have two queues. It's a fun out one queue, fun out two queues. Now let's check our queues of my V host. We have a fun two queue and a fun one queues. There's no message in our queues. Let's go back to publish some message to our exchange. So when we publish a message, we find out publish the host name, part number, and our exchange name. So we just publish one message called a test message publish to fun exchange is one. Let's check our queue again. You can see our fun two queue and the fun one queue both has the message. So this means our fun out exchange when you publish one message to this queue, it will be copied to all the queues bounded with this exchange. Now let's read this message from fun1q. You can see this is a test message from fun to one, which is we published the message. 
it's, it's routine into the fun one queues. If we read it, it's the fun two queues. Test message published to fun exchange one. So this means when we publish a message to a fun out exchange, it will make a copy deliver to all queues bounded with this exchange. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.